What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. Uh, we're gonna take a look at Nii's experience and thoughts on Tekken 8. So this is none other than, I mean, arguably the greatest Tekken player of all time. I think you could argue that Arslan perhaps is the better Tekken 7 player due to being the only player with free EVO titles. But you know, you could discuss this back and forth. However much you want, but I think it's undisputable that if we take everything into account, Ni is the greatest Tekken player of all time. And uh, so this is the first time I actually see his thoughts on Tekken 8. And Generic Cream here has uh, done a he hell of a job, heck of a job, translating from one of Ni's streams. His first thoughts on Tekken 8. So this, this is going to be a very exciting read. So I'm going to read it out loud for you guys because I know you guys can't read. That's why I'm here. The father of a Tekken community. I'm 38, so I can actually read. So let's start. Well, I'm a boomer, so I can read. I guess that's the thing. I'm not a zoomer. So initial descriptions. It was fun! And it's a test alpha version. Why is Nii shouting? So he didn't take anything too seriously, as you shouldn't. But I mean, I'm, I'm a super nerd, so I take it super seriously, and I make long breakdown videos of Kazuya. <gasps> this was nerfed, this was buffed, blah, blah. He's got a broken string now, Kazuya. That in four weeks will be gone. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. I'm expecting in the beta, like, everything is going to be different, is my guess. I'm just hoping the movement stays the way it is right now. Uh, I know Aris said that, oh, Backdash is gone, it's gone, it, that was not the case, uh, but ba Kazuya's Backdash was the same, the sidestep was the same, uh, a lot of people were, were very scared of that, but now make no mistake, the movement is still there, and as long as the movement is there, Tekken will remain Tekken, that is the most important. If you remove the movement from Tekken, being able to cancel any movement into any movement, it will not be Tekken anymore. Uh, movement is key. So, there were cool aspects to it, <laughs> thank god, but the heat animation and effects were a bit too much. And here I, I think he's talking about the heat engager. And again, this is to me also the most um, uh, hard aspect to get used to with Tekken 8. Anytime someone is hit with a heat engager, BOOM! Cool dynamic camera and they run in. And this is all a scripted sequence. Right, this is automated, and I, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. It's, I feel like it interrupts the tempo of a match a little bit, and it's, the screen goes blue to indicate heat engager, etc. And it, uh, you know, can feel a little bit too much, but, or it's something we get used to, I don't know. The screws were also too much visually, and the game in general just has too much going on, on the screen, is too busy, so very noisy and flashy, especially prominent with Lars. Yeah, Lars has a lot going on, but this is due to the nature of Lars. He's very Attack on Titan anime, even in Tekken 6 when he was introduced. I remember first time I saw him, I was like... Because suddenly you have a character going... Like flying across the screen. And I was just like, what the hell? And now take Lars and add fireworks around him, and you have Tekken 8 Lars. So of course it's gonna be super noisy. Um, but, uh, in my opinion, the bounds are not too much. I think they look really cool. The backflip with the whirlwind effect. I think that looks really slick. Um, to me, once they tone down the effects for the Paul trailer, I'm fine with it. Um, in certain instances, I, w I wouldn't say especially with Lars. I would say especially with King. Both me and Arsenal, we, we, when we played the game, we were like, Oh, this looks so cool. It looks great. But we actually both agreed, I was, when he said it, I was already thinking it, when he was playing against my king, he said, okay, now it's just too much, I, I just cannot tell what's going on. And it's when king does his muscle armor, and you attack into him, uh, depending on your attack, your hit spark, it's just, it's just an explosion of shit, once that muscle armor absorbs something, and we were both like, what the fuck is happening? So I, I would change here, especially with King. But yeah, Lars is also a, uh, a runner-up here for noisy, noisy gameplay. They keep talking about aggressive, but it didn't feel very aggressive or whatever because there was too much stuff going on and everything was frenetic. 
That sounds aggressive, though. It didn't feel very aggressive because there was too much stuff going on and everything was frenetic. I don't know, this sounds aggressive to me, so... I don't know, this has been translated, so... I'm gonna leave that one. At least with Kazuya, it feels similar to 7. It's not a complete rehaul like 3 to 4, 5 to 6. 3 to 4... So I, he's not talking about Kasia in, in, in general here, because here he's saying 3 to 4. Kasia was not in 3, right? So he's talking about the game in general. It's, it's not a complete rehaul. But, or, or he means Kasia is the one that feels similar to 7. Kasia is very true to himself, but they've added a couple of strings. But Kasia feels like Kasia. Uh, but a lot of the characters have quite a few changes. Like King, for example, they've removed his backdash. His backdash took a huge hit, and instead he armors into attacks. Uh, but I, f I, I feel like it's too early to say. We have a couple of hours with these characters, and it, I, it's just too early in my opinion. It's not just a 7.5 necessarily, but the base stuff in terms of movement, etc. are pretty similar to 7. Movement, again, I, I was like, yeah, this is the same as, as Tekken 7, and it was confirmed by Murray that it is the same, and now it's confirmed by Ni nee that it's the same. So don't listen to all of those pesky people who said, oh, I can barely move, oh my god, movement is gone, blah, blah. <laughs> no. Um, but I wouldn't say it's a 7.5, though, because in my opinion, Heat is the biggest change to this game in, since Tekken 5, so that's 18 years. Heat, when you're going to Heat, be it a Heat Engager or Heat Burst, you have access to a completely different character. Kazuya in Heat is a completely different character. Paul in Heat, completely different character. And the heat dash, heat smash, heat bound. Uh, so I, I, th this to me is, um, this is what we didn't want with Tekken 8. Uh, for it to be a 5 point, blah, Tekken 5 again, or Tekken 7 again. And in my opinion, it's not. So here I'm going to disagree. But the heat, it t to me, it turns the game into bloody roar. If, you, if you've ever played that game. A very underrated, cool fighting game where... You transform into a beast, and now you have a timer, where you are a super version of your character. And Heat completely changes these characters. Completely changes them. In very unique ways. Like June has projectiles that heal her. Uh, King regains his Heat bar at any time he throws you, and he gets hyper armor running in with what seems like an unbreakable RKO. Kazuya is devil, and he can do stomps into huge frames, uh, a million lasers, the most crazy 50-50 you've ever seen. He has uh, an armor explosion. It's like, no, this is not Tekken 7 again. Heat is the biggest thing to happen to Tekken in, I would say, 18 years. So I, I, can I cannot agree with this. Uh... On Kazuya with a bit of law. Okay, Kazuya. All of Kazuya's basic screws from Seven are gone. Yes. Um, is my microphone too loud? Kazuya hell sweep into screw bound follow up wasn't as good as he thought it would be. Into screw bound follow up. Oh, oh, I think, I think this is a mistranslation, and we're talking about CD4-4. Yeah, that Hell Sweep is really bad. It's the Hell Sweep they show in the trailer. I did that a few times, and then I was like, Nope! He still has CD4-1. And you're going to keep doing CD4-1. CD4-4 just throws them far away, and I'm like, why would I ever do this? It may be, I think the idea behind it was like, they removed the double low. Hell sweep. I think the idea was if you miss the first hit and they they block do a standing guard expecting CD41, you know, that's launch punishable, minus 16 on block. Now you have a safe high. But it's still so slow. 
and it still didn't track to his weak side. So I'm like, what, what the hell is the point of this? So I don't know, but it looks cool, I guess. <laughs> Apparently, we added some recovery frames to Kazuya's electric because Lee was finding it easy to whiff punish. This is something I did not notice. It seemed to still recover extremely fast. At least to me, when I, when I played with Arsenal T. So we'll see. It was finding it easy to whiff punish. I don't know, man. Hellsweep and Ford Ford Free were both super easy to avoid with Sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's the same. You just tap him to the left. Not all moves have chip damage. It's, it's a subset of the move list. Exactly. But for some reason, they gave Electric a, a decent amount of chip damage. And it has to be noted also with Kazuya that the system changes benefit him greatly. Let's remove Magic 4 and back one, counter it launchers, so that Kazuya's Electric stands uncontested in the neutral. No longer, I mean, Magic 4 has killed Kazuya before and rivaled the Electric, right? In the neutral. And now it's like, well, Electric City and it has chip damage and it still tracks to both sides. And it probably still recovers very fast, even, even though this says it doesn't. Um, let's see. It's hard to tell how much HP has been recovered or how much chip guard damage you've taken visually. I fully agree. And I mentioned this in my breakdown. Like, the, even the HP gauge is, like, really cluttered. And it's so hard to tell. Like, how much HP do I have? How much damage did this do? Like, um, yeah, it's, it's really hard to tell. So this is something I do hope they change. Uh, because I think a lot of people are going to complain about that. There's not much time to check the heat gauge and so on either, because oftentimes you'll just do move moves that go straight into heat anyways. Heat gauge and so on. There's not much time to check the heat gauge. How much heat you have left, but you always have access, you can only do heat once per round. So it, it will either be full or it will be gone. You'll do moves that go straight into heat anyways. Yeah, you'll do a heat engager. Even when you do the heat cancel and run in heat engager, Kasuya is not in a very advantageous situation because, for example, versus characters like Lowell, just block the hell sweep and parry the mids. Is this supposed to be aggressive? They'll just block the hell sweep and parry the mids. But you're going to have to block or parry. You can't do both at the same time. Uh, I don't understand. I think the translation here must be a little bit off. Yeah, on a heat engager, you're insanely plus. Insanely plus. And it's an unreactable mix-up. And you cannot low block and parry at the same time. Low seems to be quite strong. And his jab string, yeah, 1-1-1. Uh, heat engager, 10 frame counter it. RPS coupled with Dambak Free Low makes his mix good. Goes into a little bit of a tangent on some changes to Low, including stuff like 1, 2, 3, counter it, nerf, but overall, Low seems extremely good. Um, overall, Power Crush seems improved in that if you take a hit during the Power Crush, you get more pushback on block and more damage on hit when just throwing out the Power Crush raw. Also, this is something I've missed, but they said they buffed Power Crushes. But so if, if a power crush does counter hit, absorbs an attack, you get more damage, it seems. Kazuya's while setting 1-2 is supposed to be one of the main screw moves now, and if you do it raw as a punish, it starts an early screw, so that's a huge combo damage nerf, similar to double tier. Exactly. Uh, Kazuya's twin pistons screw immediately. It's a, it's a big nerf. Not all magic force have died off. Uh, Lost Magic 4 can still go into a full combo. These full combo Magic 4 seem limited to a few characters. Lost Magic 4 can still go into a full combo. Yeah, but that's only if you commit to 4 free. They, they've made it so that the Magic 4 is still there on pretty much all of these characters if you commit to a follow-up. It's the same with Nina. Um, it's a string. 
Uh, it's the same with King. He does back one, two. And now you have a 12 frame counter it. It's just that you're not safe anymore. Because you do high, high. And you, they just duck the second hit and you get launched. Um, so yeah, the, I, I think what he means here is 4-3 with Law. He still has, technically, his magic 4, but he's punishable. It's just an alpha test, but he didn't get the impression that Kazuya was particularly strong. It was harder for him, took more time to go into heat, because the heat-related moves were, were all more niche or slower moves. Yeah, but his 4-4-2 now is a demon paw. That was safe on block. Heat engager. That's still very good for Kazuya, I would say. Um... But yeah, I guess he didn't have a... It would have been nice with a back one too, Heat Engager. But that, that would, would, have, would have been dumb, perhaps. I know Kalsi is probably not going to be particularly strong, but... Eh, he still had a lot of really good buffs. Huge damage. And again, I, Electric with chip damage and removal of Magic Force. I don't know. Uh, no, I guess Magic Four being so Magic Four being so risky now. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. But Kazuya seems strong to me. Uh, but, but he retains his identity and weaknesses. Step left. Paul's jumping fist moving up for two. Doesn't seem to be up for two since up for two is separate. What? No, it is up for two. 13 move now. No, no. The 13 move is... What was it? Back 2. Back 2 or... No, forward 2 or back 2. A jumping move, a move is up for 2. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the 5 gift subs. I really appreciate the generosity. Seems like a good move, but can be floated by jabs. That's a really dumb mix-up. Paul is going to be torture to play against in Tekken 8. He either does up for two, which is a high, that's super plus, <laughs> and then he jumps over lows, right? That's super plus. Ugh! Or he does forward four, which is a jumping mid, that seemed also plus, or like almost neutral on block, and it's a heat engager. So Anna Paul was really obnoxious. <laughs> um... His right knee move in the trailer is down for four, yes. And it seems like it'll catch sights up left 100% of the time. Blah, blah, blah. So this is very detailed here. Guaranteed death fist on counter it. The whole death fist is one plus two, but it looks like it has less minus frames on block than regular death fist. Yeah, I mean, it seems pretty safe. And if you fully hold it, it goes into a mini burning fist unblockable. The homing kick at the wall scene of a trailer is forward 4, but it's much lower than expected. Also has a homing high in forward 3. Much lower than expected. Didn't seem that slow to me. It was a really dumb attack. Super spammable. A really annoying move. Uh, Paul no longer has Rage Art Cancel. Yeah, so that's a big thing, that being gone. Uh, oh god, we have a lot of stuff here. On Jack plus sidestepping. I'm lo losing my voice here. Stuff mainly about... Oh, can I do Jack? Stuff mainly about his new stance barred from Gigas. Yes. And he has a Gigas overkill throw from that stance. So, yeah, they, they've incorporated a lot of Gigas stuff into, uh, into Jack. It's really good and it does a lot of stuff from Gigas. Stance 1 plus 2. Yeah, overkill command throw. Is this a potential sign that Gigas isn't making it in? For sure, Gigas is dead. Power Crush is forward 1 plus 2, and be old for 1 plus 2 wall bounce is now back 1 plus 2. Back 1 plus 2, right. Machine Gun Animation, Dynamic 112 is completely different. Now it's a low mid mid, and the last one can be potentially held. His stance. Left punch? Is a safe homing mid seems very good. Safe homing mid, that's very good. Jack Ford Ford 1 seems extremely easy to avoid with sidestep left. So that's one of, one of his key moves, the jackhammer, and it no longer knocks down. So a big nerf, 
Big nerf. Uh, it should be said that Jack has a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I think that stance also has access to... Uh, it's like a protective barrier. There's a, there's a huge energy field. That's a heat engager. Seems really obnoxious. Feels like the sidesteps are larger now, which is nice and the type of movement that he wanted and is good for top players. Just a bit at odds with aggressive. Potentially better than the down for one and down for crouch kick fast. We haven't taken some because... Just a bit at, at odds with aggressive. What they meant with aggressive and what they've pushed all the time with aggressive is the new big mode of Tekken 8, which is the heat mechanic. What is aggressive? Heat engager, kablam! You're like minus 10. Take the mix up. Hard mix up. Take the mix up. When your opponent is mixing you up and he is in heat, if he does a heat engager again on your block and heat dashes out of it, you're again staggered. Ah, you're like minus 10 yet again. Again, aggressive. Take the mix up. Oh, my moves are enhanced when I am in, in heat. For example, Paul's death fist is like safe when he's in heat. Bam, aggressive. That, that, that's the whole meaning of aggressive in Tekken 8. It's how heat changes your character. Uh, better than the down for one and down for crouch kick. We haven't taken seven because of a reduced sidestep. Sidestep seems similar to tag two. Kazuya mix just get dodged all day by sidesteps walks. Well, I mean, that's Tekken 7 as well. Both Jack, Ford Ward 1, and Dama Quen get dodged very easily by sidesteps without having to have precise timing like in 7. On Jin, let's see. Jin's version of... Oh, this is interesting. Jin's version of down back too low has a much larger ra range than expected. So this is down too. Th this move is OP in my opinion. And also goes into combo and counter. It's cu currently a bit harder to react to because it's new. If it's even reactable. Uh, it did seem like it was like tw around 22 frames. At the slowest, it's 23. I, I just don't see that as reactable to most people. Iachi's down back too is, is treated like a reactable low. But the reality is that very few, even professional players, react to it. It's a minority of profe professional players that react to it. Uh, so that Jin, that Jin down too is overpowered. It just is, and it has to be nerfed. And I'm I'm 100%. Uh, uh, God, what's the word here? Confident, it will be nerfed. That it's so dumb. You can watch my Jin breakdown. It does everything, like everything. Jin's down for a two reg regular uppercut has huge range and is safe. Can press down forward to go into his crouch dash mix up. <clears throat> also hard to dodge with sidestep, so you can just do down for two at long range and low all day. But still a big nerf to his counter it game, losing the old down for two. GNL sweep first hit will not knock down. Now even if it connects, so you have to commit to a follow-up. Yes. Um, yeah, he's a big nerf to his hell sweep. He now as a follow-up to while standing 4, while standing 4, 4 like Kazumi now, which makes it very strong. That's something I did not mention, actually, in my breakdown, but I do remember it now. Yeah, Ka Kazumi f while standing 4, 4. Counter at 4 doesn't knock down now. No, and down back 2 doesn't knock down. Uh, huge nerf. Um, so many of his counter hits were removed. Ni forgot that Jin's Rage Art is a mid now and ate a raw Rage Art by trying to duck the high. Yeah, it's a normal Rage Art now. On Lars plus low pairing. So much has changed with Lars that it was hard to tell what was going on. Yeah, I agree. His new stance is very obnoxious. <clears throat> Back 1 plus 2 homing tailspin mid is now safe on block. That is huge. <laughs> There's a minor zoom in animation plus effect that makes it very obvious that you've just low parried something. Oh my god, don't write books, please. I'm trying to do a recording here. Thank you, sir, for the resub. But yeah, it's very... But low parries are obvious because the your opponent is thrown to the ground in a low parry animation. 
but okay. Um, miscellaneous, because moves keep going into heat, it felt like you were supposed to just keep pressing buttons and try to hit the opponent, but not sure if that's aggressive necessarily. The heat system seems mainly designed to constantly force situations with heat. Yeah, force hard, hard 50-50s. Aggressive play. In my opinion. I mean, may maybe he sees it differently, but that's certainly aggression. That's what's so scary with heat, is that when someone hits, hits you with a heat engager, you don't have access to typical Tekken um, defense. So much of Tekken's defense is the movement. I'll just step you now, so I don't have to take a guess. That's Tekken, there's an option select, often due to movement. Uh, I'll option select Pulse 50-50 by doing a backdash. But with Kazi, I option select the 50-50 by stepping to the left, right? That's what's so disgusting about heat engagers, it's that you remove all of that. You reduce it to take a fucking guess. Because you can't step. You can't backdash. So, that, that's the whole point. Uh, once you run out of heat, the game feels pretty similar to 7 in terms of playstyle. Yes. Rage Art is better now both on block and whiff. Yeah, it's awful. So Rage Arts now seem like better moves to throw out some more. Yeah, and especially now that you don't have a secondary option anymore in Rage. You don't have a Rage Drive. When, you, when you're in Rage, all you have is the Rage Art. The whole purpose of Rage now is the Rage Art. And now it's, it recovers uh, much faster on whiff and on block. So it's like, if you thought 7 was Rage Art City, like, hold on to your fucking dick. Because, yeah, it's going to be a nightmare. They said that aggressive was their slogan, but the characters who have stuff like parries and so forth can still just utilize their defensive options. So, yeah, but Heat Engager into hard mix-ups. Heat mode into plus 10, constantly. Heat engagers are now launchers, when they are in heat. Yes. You can dodge all of Kazuya's mix-ups. Okay. Didn't feel- I mean, this is just translation, you know. Uh, didn't feel anything- <laughs> Kazuya low tier, by the way, guys. So remember, when you play against my Kazuya in Tekken 8, you can just dodge all of his mix-ups. Hmm, we'll see if you manage to dodge all of them. Maybe I'll hit a mix-up once or twice, we'll see. Didn't feel anything in terms of significant input lag. No, a very responsive. Stuff like the gauges are hard to see visually. Yes, there's too much stuff going on in the game for someone to look at recover life. I completely agree. And all these gauges, while still playing, properly so these visual calculations of how much chip damage he's received and so on didn't really register enter into his mind yeah it's very cluttered uh, the hud it's it's kind of a mess i hope they change it another significance of differences in character strength balance may come from which moves are allowed to go into heat on hit yes absolutely the move that kazia can use to go into heat seemed to not be very good demon paw seemed to be the best one but law can go into it with just his counter jab string yeah, but, but Law traditionally is, is more of a counter-hit-oriented character than Kazuya. That's his identity. So he, he should have a fast counter-hit. But especially as his Magic 4 has been nerfed. I, th I think that was a good change. Or forward 1 plus 2, Dragon Hammer, or whatever. He used to go into Heat, seemed not to be very good, but Law can go into it from his deck, or forward 1 plus 2. No, Dragon Hammer is not a Heat Engager, it's a counter-hit launcher. So during the session while he was playing... <laughs> I'm not correcting me here, by the way, I think. I'm correcting the person who translated this. So yes, relax. While he was playing Kazuya, he kept thinking, huh, my character's not going to heat very often. <laughs> um... this, is, this is just translated in a very comical way. It, it, I can't help but laugh. I'm going into law. I get countered by 111. What is this? I'm getting countered into heat engager. But I don't get to heat engage as much. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, law strong counter hits. I mean, th this is the guy translating this. 
but yeah, no, Kazuya has a has a demon paw. So Kazuya has a strong 50-50. He just does. If a Kazuya player is any good, you can't just dodge away. You just can't. You can't dodge all of those mix-ups. Because he can wave -oo, wave -oo, wave -oo very rapidly to realign with your movement. And and with good timing, he will hit a hell sweep. Or he will hit uh, a demon god fist or Again, he, ha he has a, a demon paw now, but it's safe on block. Wave, -oo, wave, -oo, wave, -oo, demon paw. Is that a bad attack? Is that a bad attack? But it's a heat engager. That's not bad. And it, 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 it fits his uh, identity. We don't want to see a Kazuya with a 10 frame counter hit heat engager or, you know, it doesn't fit the identity of a character. Uh, Jack seems to have good heat moves off of his mix. Can use down back one to frustrate the opponent and then go in with heat, heat engager mid. Um, what happens after he hits his forward forward two? But I just said it's a heat engager. The screen goes blue. The, uh, your opponent uh, is knocked down into a back roll and you run in automatically into a hard mix up. So that's a pretty good demon paw, right? I mean, how is that bad? <clears throat> One good thing is that since rage drives are gone, there are no random variables for the opponent to throw out when they go into rage. Right. If you're down on life with no heat and in rage, you're out of heat and you have no rage drives, so all you can do is throw out a rage art. Since Nii really likes that sort of situation where he's fighting an opponent with limited options, he thought it was a good change. I think it was more interesting when they had more options in Rage, but... Uh, it's hard to keep your heat as you go into Rage since there are so many different heat engagers. It's hard to keep your heat, so to keep your erection as you go into Rage because you're so angry and mad. Oh my god! Uh, since there are so many different heat engagers, so you'll automatically tend to use up heat. So when you're in rage, low HP, you'll also usually have run out of heat. I have to read this yet again, I think. It's hard to keep your heat as you go into rage. Since there are so many different heat engagers, so you'll automatically tend to use up the heat. So when you're in rage low HP, you'll also usually have run out of heat. Kazuya counter it while standing 1 plus 2 knockdown. Fujin Uraken into guaranteed OTG forward 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 damage is back. So yes, Fujin Uraken still, uh, again, counter it knocks down into guaranteed uh, devil steel pedal. There are things that could potentially make Kazuya great once people lab more tech is found, but since the sidesteps are better, another Dark Age could be coming for Kazuya if he's released as is. Yeah, but we want this character to be weak to sidesteps. That, that's the whole point of a character. That's the whole point of a character. If he's not weak to sidesteps, he has a really dumb mix-up. It's the whole point, in my opinion. Um, if he's released as is, similar to how Kazuya was in a bad state in 6BR because everything he had could be dodged and a lot of his moves didn't knock down. This was the point where he was called something along the lines of Krapsuya in Korea back then. Ka uh, Kazuya was awful in Tekken 6BR. Absolutely awful. It was like... Not downright low tier, but like, uh, slightly above bottom. Uh, it was not good. Not good. Um, but in terms of homing, again here in... Uh, uh, in Tekken 8, you still had down for two. You still had Demon God Fist. You still, and again, you, you still have back four, right? And back four is a heat engager. Like, how is this bad? 
If I start out as Kasia in Tekken 8, a round starts, and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna step your mix up to the left, right? I can do a back four, which is a safe uh, homing high. If, if you try to step me immediately, boom, heat engager. And now I have a free 50-50 with Devil Kazuya that has a mid electric. Um, he still has a mid electric, or I have a heat smash, which, which is a demo man, or I have the Devil Hell Sweep into Heaven's Gate. How is this bad? And if you don't try and step me because of that back for a heat engager, I have a safe. Um, uh, demon Paw to Heat Engage. Does this sound bad to you? <clears throat> In my opinion, no. It should also be noted that uh, people said Devil Electric is high. No, I had... Uh, um, wow, well, what's his name? Um, Ducky, try it, try it out. Ducky said it's mid. Oh, and Devil for well, for Devil Forward Four staggers Croucher still for a launch. So I I don't know. It's like um, I I don't see Kasia as very bad right now. Um, the number of buttons and combinations that you can configure have been significantly expanded in the settings. Yeah, a controller settings huge step up. Move lists in explaining the characters, huge step up. We've done a great job. You can even map Taunt to a single button. Yes, yeah, so that's so amazing for Brian players. Even the best Brian players still miss input Taunt with binds, but now you'll, you'll just press one button to Taunt. It's, it's beautiful. Consequently, this also means that sticks with more buttons will be better. It also depends on how much rules will let players get away with. The rest of it is teasing poor uh, Sodomy, no, Sodom, the link player, because it was his birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Sodom. Plus random questions from the viewers. Okay. So some very, very interesting thoughts here. Uh, most of it, I feel like, was covered in my breakdowns. Um, but very interesting stuff. And again, Jin, there are so many more nerfs here. But I covered in my breakdown and the removal of uh, Zen cancel, really big deal. But the biggest nerf to Jin is his parry, uh, removing the block frames on um, startup and on recovery. Um, but so, yeah, uh, really, really interesting to hear what Nee thought on the game. And it sounds, I don't know, is this positive or negative? So he feels that it doesn't live up to aggressive. So that, I mean, that, that's good for you guys who didn't want a more aggressive Tekken game, right? But to me, it actually lives up to the idea of aggressive. Because Heat is insanely aggressive. <laughs> like, powered up character with uh, insane frames, Heat engagers, hard mix-ups. And again, it's like, you no longer have Magic Force to deter your opponent from playing very aggressive and running in. Magic Force were actually defensive keep-out attacks. Defensive! So, I don't know, it's just, I, I just disagree there. Um, but, uh, so he feels it's more similar to 7, I guess. Um... But, uh, all right, good shit. Uh, so cool to hear his thoughts. And, uh, well, again, we'll see what the game looks like when it goes into beta. I'm sure it's going to be very different. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.